you see this grid here we're gonna have our robot put down its pen and use the repeat block to cross off all of the numbers on the grid in today's coding challenge all right so I'm gonna show you how to do that for this assignment in canvas so this is for uh, cross every number is what the name of it so first of all you should watch this video good job you're doing that <laughs> yourself a thumbs up or whatever all right uh, vr.vex.com click on that link that'll take you right here and then it says to change the name of it to your name and cross every number okay so that's right up here done what's next open a playground and switch to the number grid map okay I've already got that done so you can click playground I would highly recommend to expand it if it can fit on your screen and then you're going to go down here to number grid map you should see this and each one of these squares by the way are spaced out by 200 millimeters okay all right let's see what's next code a program that will use the robot's pen to cross off every number on the number grid all of them have to be crossed off okay cool so let's see what that's all about The first step I'm going to show you guys my strategy so we can see like so you can see what I'm going to do before I do it and then you can watch and understand kind of a little better what I'm doing all right so here it goes my idea here is um, I'm going to try and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up whoa that is too small let's make that bigger so you can see it so we're going to start off by putting the robots pen down and then we're going to move forward we're going to turn go forward a little bit here turn and uh, that now if we look if we look at this problem at that point right we still need to go back down turn and of course like anything else we have to make sure we turn the robot back so it's facing the exact same orientation that it was when it started right here because right here this thing was facing that way so right here it needs to be facing that same direction and then the idea is we're going to take this code and we're going to loop it again and again we will have a problem at the end but we will have accomplished the task so it's going to get a little sloppy at the end but um, we can fix this later and, and in the future videos we're going to actually do this more refined and get it better and better so we're going to work our way towards that as we go through this video series okay so let's get started with that stuff now listen because this is such a long driving path it's going to take forever and I don't want and I want to keep replaying it to get my my program tuned up so to do that I would recommend you set the drive velocity to 100 and grab the set the turn velocity to 100 so it just goes through this as we keep pressing play fixing it play it's going to go faster for us so it's not going to be quite as quite as annoying and uh, boring to, to look at okay the first thing we need to do don't forget to put the pen down okay it doesn't draw so we're going to move the robot pen down and optionally you can set the pen color um, I'll do red that's cool we'll do that um, all right now let's take a look here we have a calculator here and guess what we have figured out you can see I've already done it is nine square so look if you look here we have to go forward one so you start with your your mouse on the finger. one two three four five six seven eight nine we have to go forward nine squares all right so let's take a look if you go nine times two hundred is 1800 now you could now technically you could go 200 plus 200 plus 200 nine times but that's what multiplication is right so save yourself a little bit of effort all right so I'm gonna go forward now that my pens down and I'm gonna move forward 1800 millimeters cool now we know later we're gonna throw a loop in here but I don't like to do that right off the bat I like to program without the loop and then put the loop around it when we need it um, your personal preference that's fine and if you do it a little differently than mine if you accomplish the goal and you use some of the repeat blocks and some of the pattern stuff I'm fine with that so we are going to rotate and turn right and where are we going to turn right 90 degrees all right let's see how this goes so far pretty good okay and now we need now that we're turning right we need to move forward 200 and then we're going to turn right again 90 degrees and of course we have to come back the other way now that we're facing forward let's see if we got that right and the distance to the other one is also going to be 1800 which is kind of weird you'd expect it to be 2000 but this is what we that would be what's called a fence post counting error I think so 
Um, we'll get into that later maybe. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, 1,800. Let's run that code, see if we got where we need to be. And it looks like at this point we're going to need a left turn. Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. We're going to turn left. And we're going to go forward 200 to get over to that next one and then turn left again. Okay, let's watch this one. Here we go. So we're moving forward. That's just the longest one. It takes the longest because it's a long ways. Turn. And remember, why are we doing this stuff at the end? Like it looks like, oh, that's crossed off. Just repeat it. Because if you don't face the same direction, it's not going to do the same thing again. Can you see already what's going to happen when we get to the last one? That's going to be a problem that we're going to have to deal with because it's going to try to go on the last one and run into the wall. But we'll get there. We'll deal with that one when we get there. So for now, at this point, we just need to grab a loop and we're going to repeat it. And I'm going to put that right where it starts driving. We don't need to repeat putting the pen down. It's just not going to do anything because the pen's already down. All right. Cool. So there we go. Let's check that out. That's going to repeat 10 times. That's too many. Let's see how many times do we need this repeated. We would need one, two, three, four, five of those. But the last one's going to be an error, and I'm going to show you why. You'll see why in a minute. Really pay attention to the robot as it fixes its orientation by moving over to the next one. That's going to be a problem when we get done with this. So let's check that out. We'll have to fix that at the end. And there's other strategies you could have used to do that instead. There's probably better ways if you can come up with one. That's the whole point of it. Work smart, not hard. We are now on the second loop. Looking good. Okay, we're going to go down here and it goes over and corrects. New loop starts and we go. Remember that little part where it goes over and corrects and gets into the right place for the next one? That's what we're going to be looking for and that's going to be the problem at the end, of course. Okay, come on, robot. Let's get moving. And you can see why you want to. This would have taken twice as long if we didn't turn it up. And now this is now watch this. This is the part I want you to watch when it gets to this ten down here. And it just drives against the wall, it turns upside down or turns on its side. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's fix that code, shall we? because it's not moving, it's not able to move. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a repeat four. Okay, and then we're going to duplicate this block and move this down. This is our thing for repeat four. And the last one is not going to be in the repeat loop because we need to alter it. We don't want it to be the same. Okay, so what do we need to get rid of? Well, after it drives up 1800 and it comes back 1800 millimeters, 1800, then we could just eliminate this code. We don't need the we don't need to turn, move over for the next one because there is no next one. All right. And again, let's check it out. And again, you can see why we want to turn our speed up to 100% on this one because this program can take quite a while to execute if you're not uh, turning it up. So we're still in the loop. One down, three to go. We're gonna loop again. Here we go. We move over, and we get down. And we're almost to our correction code, which corrects it and moves it over. There it is. Okay, cool. Just two more of those. And then the last one, if we did it right, it should end up right on this 10. And we'll call it a day. We'll say it's done. I forgot to put stop project there. Now it won't stop the project right now, but yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're, on, now we're outside of the loop. And we're on this code that does not have the correction. Unfortunately, it's not blinking anymore because I put the stop project thing on it. So, And there you have it. We have a solution, and um, we verified that it works. You could double check if you want, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty legitimate code. I think it will. Oh, I, you know what, by the way? You notice how I put the wrong one here? i got to catch that. I was trying to do red, and it wasn't. I just noticed, like, oh, wow, it's still black pen. Um, so, yeah, you got. I, I put print color. you got to set the pen color. That's where I made the mistake. Okay. But I'm not going to make you sit around and watch me rerun it. So now what I'm going to do is you, I need to capitalize my J on my first name. All right. So now we're going to rename that. All right. And we're going to go up here to share. I'm having problems here. Let's see. 
Okay, so now I'm back. It took a little while, but it did download the file for me. Sorry, down here, jeremywoodchick.pdf. All right, so now you're gonna just gonna, gonna run over to uh, here, click on this assignment, and then you're gonna click Submit Assignment. You're gonna choose that file here. Uh, here's mine, Jeremy Woodchick, cross every number. It's in my downloads. You might have to go to your downloads, which is right over here. And there we go. So there we have it, and um, now I've chosen it here, and then I can click Submit Assignment. If you just choose the file and you forget to click Submit Assignment, it, it won't do it. So you got to just make sure you get that right. And my internet is absolutely just kind of going at a crawl, so there it is.